Hello, welcome back to Skip to Malu's Kitchen. I am Malu Perez Nivera. We're in the midst of winter, and one of my friends asked me, What's a treat for winter boots? And my quick reply was, Kinataang Halo Halo. Kinataang Halo Halo is a popular Filipino treat or snack that is made of mixed fruits and rice balls cooked in coconut cream. Growing up in Tugiguro, I really didn't care for Kinataan. But today, the smell of Kinataan brings me back to those afternoons where we were forced to sleep and as soon as we wake up, the smell of a freshly cooked Kinataan greets us. For today's segment, the recipe that I'm going to share is from my good friend and kababayan from Cagayan, Julie Van Dam. She shared with me the secrets and tricks of how to make the creamiest ginataan ever. Salama Judy! I made use of the ingredients that are readily available in my local market. So we have plantain instead of the saba. I have sweet yam, jackfruit, or langka. Then we have the taro sago. This is the uncooked one. And this is the cooked one. I went ahead and boiled it and this is how it should look. Then we have the glutinous rice. We're in, we're going to add water later to make the bilo bilo or the rice balls. And as you can see, I have a lot of milk here and this is where the secret of Julie comes in. We have the coconut cream, coconut milk, and then as Julie suggested, she added fresh milk. And then for a skip to mulu version, I added heavy cream. The one here is the coconut cream or kakangata as they would say. This will be used later on to top the cooked ginataan. And to sweeten the ginataan, we have the white sugar. Our first step is to make the bilo or the rice balls. This is one and a half cups of um, flour. Add a little water. I do it little by little because I want it to be not so soggy. Your dough should look like this. So what I want you to do is grab a handful and then roll it. Like so. And then grab a pinch and then make small balls. There you have it. So let's do the rest. I used to love doing this when I was a kid. As we are slicing the sweet yam and the plantain, I'll go ahead and simmer our coconut cream and coconut milk together, okay? So let's put the coconut cream and coconut milk. Pour it together like so. And then let it simmer. So while that's simmering, I'll go ahead and slice our into cubes. Now let's slice the plantain into small cubes or the same size as our sweet yam. There you go. Now that it's simmering, I'll go ahead and add the sweet yam. And then plantain. There and cook it for 5 to 10 minutes. For your coconut milk not to overflow, tip is put a wooden spoon on top and they say it's not gonna overflow. So let's see if that works. Mm -hmm. Sure does. I can smell the coconut milk and cream and the aroma just sends me back home. I think we're ready to put in the rice balls. Get the quick stir and add again so it's thick and creamy and delicious. It's also optional for you to add vanilla. You could do that. Our sago, like there. Mm hmm. Looks like your grandma's kinataang halo halo, isn't it? And then finally, we add in the langka. I love lamka, so I'll go ahead and add 
a lot of those shreds of long pa over there. Let's add in Julie's Secret, which is the fresh milk. And then, my skip to maroon version, I added a little cream, heavy cream, right there. And you betcha, this will be the creamiest, tastiest, kinataang halo-halo you've ever made. So, the next step is for us to taste it. This is my favorite part. OMG. It's tasty, it's very creamy, it's just perfect for this cold weather. There you have it, Minatang Halo Halo. You could either serve it hot or cold, but in this cold winter weather, hot is the best way to do it. Now let me drizzle some coconut cream to that, and it's ready to serve. Join me on my Facebook page, Skip to Baloo, or follow me on my blog, Skip to Baloo.net, or subscribe in this channel, Skip to Baloo, Inspired Cooking Filipino Channel. Thank A bowl of Minataan is so comforting and it will cure your winter blues. So, hanggang sa muli, ako si Malu na nagsasabing, that's a wrap!